how to prevent and control crimean congo hemorrhagic fever infection i'm dr nadeem sajjad raja it is difficult to control infection in ticks and animals as it goes unnoticed use chemicals to kill ticks it remains no doubt very important to reduce the risk of transmission of this infection from ticks to human being wear protective clothing clothes with long sleeves long trousers wear light colored garments clothes to allow easy detection of ticks on the clothes use approved acaricides chemicals intended intended to kill ticks on clothing use approved repellent on the skin and clothing so that ticks can't stick with your clothing regularly examine clothing and for and skin for ticks if found remove them safely seek to eliminate or control tick infestations on animal or in stables and barns speak with the experts in this field and livestock experts avoid areas where ticks are abundant and seasons when they are most active it's also important reducing the risk of animal to human transmission always wear gloves and other protective clothing while handling animals or their tissues in endemic areas notably during slaughtering butchering and culling procedures in slaughter houses or at home even quarantine animals before they enter slaughter house or routinely treat animals with pesticides 2 weeks prior to slaughter reducing the risk of human to human transmission because it occurs in the community as well as in the hospital avoid close physical contact with crimean congo hemorrhagic fever infected people so how we can reduce wear gloves and protective equipment when taking care of people with crimean congo hemorrhagic fever wash hand hands regularly after caring for or visiting infected people thank you very much for watching this video